KC Nation here. Today I'm going to unbox a particular brand of gun safe, portable gun safes, and uh, and then we'll do a a review. I guess we're just going to look at them and see how they compare. They're all three models from the same manufacturer. So let's get the pistachios out of the way. <clears throat> Put them on the ammo box. That's a good place for them. Um, let's get these books out of the way. By the way, I bought these books. Uh, I'm reading through, uh, and I'm going to do a review. If you uh, if you're interested in seeing the review of the books, it's going to be a while, but uh, subscribe, and you'll get notified when I post the video. But let's get the books out of the way. Let's get the box up here. Amazon, love that company. <clears throat> Trusty little knife. Not even a knife, it's a simple box cutter. And packing bubbles, mega bubbles. All right, we got three clamshells. Let's get them out of here. Uh, all right, I'm going to put the box on the floor. Pull these guys out. There we go. <clears throat> so as I said, I have three of them. There's the Nano Vault 100. NV100. There's the Nano Vault 200. NV100. NV Two hundred and the Nanovolt three hundred, NV three hundred, all from a company called Gun Vault. Gun Vault. So we'll open these up and take a look at them. Let's start with the one hundred. How about that? Let's put the put these on the side for a moment. Start with the 100. Looks like it's a uh, little child proof. Let's get through this little bit of tape up here. Alright, not difficult at all. Get this box up. Toss that out. Where's the side? Alright, here we have it. Simple. This is the NV100. It's got a, a lock, some padding in here. It's pretty thick, actually. Nice thick padding. Has a tether. You can see. You lock it down. I'll, I'll explain my requirements why I bought this thing. This is important. So uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Two keys. And that's it. Pretty simple. And lock this up. That was easy. And that's not coming apart. I suppose a good heavy duty saw would get through that. But there you go. Now with this. Okay, so here we have the loop, the tether with two loops. Again, one big, one small. The small one goes in like so. There you can see the little notch. There's a notch right there. Let's pull it a little closer. A little notch right there. Lay that in there. Now, if you like, uh, if you don't have a, a lock to throw this around, this bigger loop, you can put the little one through the big one like this after you've wrapped it around the leg of a, your a chair in your car seat in your car uh, a pipe you know, a 
something that you want to wrap this around you can do that first lay this down in the box close the box lock her up and there you have it nice tight fit and this is hopefully you have this wrapped around something secure so this is the NV100 let's put a pistol or two in there I don't think we'll get two in this one um, and a magazine let's see what we can fit in here all right I've got a wide selection of pistols here uh, two revolvers uh, three truly pocket pistols these will fit in your back pocket <clears throat> Uh, two other concealed carry class semi-autos and uh, a Beretta PX4 Storm full-size pistol. So let's see. Let's start with the PX4 Storm just to be ridiculous here. Um, NV100. Let's see. It kind of goes in there. I don't know. If, no, I don't think it'll close up. It's just a bit. Let's try it a different way. Try it this way. Nah, it's like a millimeter too big. I mean, it goes in there. Let's see. No, it isn't closing. It just barely fits in there. Um, but, no, it's not going to close. Let me try it again this way. It's. No. Nah. No, that ain't happening. So anyway, let me just make sure you, you're not getting nervous on me. This is that's clear. Um, so the Beretta full size the almost makes it in there uh, breath wise, but even the, even though it just just barely made it in there, this box was not close. So so forget about that full size that particular full size pistol is not going in there. Um, next up is the. M&P shield, 9mm, clear, that one's loaded, it has the pinky extension on it, and it still fits, let's see if it closes, yeah, that closes right up, okay, there you go. NV100 MP shield with a magazine pinky extension it fits magazine backup magazine with pinky extension fits so that's great now obviously the smaller pistols are going to go in there let's let's pop that magazine back out of there we're, we're still clear and we'll put the MP shield magazines away for the moment and uh, let's pick the two smallest pocket pistols here this is a Keltec P3AT okay I'm getting one up well it's clear I get one like that this is the new Beretta Nat, uh, Pico Alright, so I've got two pistols in there, two micro pocket pistols. They fit, and it looks like we have room for magazines. Let's uh, let's grab a magazine. Not sure what. Yeah, it's the Keltec magazine. So put a Keltec magazine in there, and uh, let's find a Pico. Do I have a Pico here? I got two Pico magazines that came with the weapon. Uh, one's flush, and the other one has the pinky extension. So, one, let's try the one with the pinky extension. We can get that in there. Yeah. yeah, that'll go. Well, don't forget the the lock. Let's see if we can still close this thing. Yeah, it's closed up. So the NV100 fits these two pocket pistols, nano pick, 
you know, Brenner Pico and Keltec P3AT fits in there with one magazine each. Uh, let's try putting a magazine. There's the flush magazine. That's in the Beretta now. Pico. And uh, what I need is another Well, that's too big. This is the P3AT Way Extended Magazine. I don't think that's going to go. That ain't happening. Not with two pistols. That'd be fine with one pistol. Anyway, you're getting the basic idea here. You Maybe you're a packaging engineer. You make this stuff fit. Um, let's try this. Right, I put the regular Caltech magazine in there, and they still pretty much play nice. But will this go? Eh, no, not really. That's the NV100. I'll put the dimensions and the price that I paid up here for you to see. Good solid construction. I'm telling you, I don't know you can't really well, you can't really tell that from the video maybe, but let's let's open up the NV two hundred. This one's a little bigger. top of the other so you can see right there that's the difference in size I'll put, again I'll put the dimensions up here on the screen but that visually that's that's what you're dealing with right there so that's the NV100 versus the 200 I'll put the 100 down for a moment let's open this 200 up same idea as the 100, same construction, same tether, small loop, big loop, two keys, thick padding, good tough construction. The hinges on both models are pretty tough. It looks looks good. Um, how are they attached inside there, I wonder. Let's open that up. I really can't tell how they're... I was looking for spot welding, but it looks like it's better than spot welding, but I can't really... can't show you that. I don't, I don't know what they did in there to attach that hinge. In any case, uh, 200 looks identical to the 100 except for the, the length and the width is uh, a little wider too. So width and length. So let's see what we can fit in the in the box. Put the tether aside. Let's start again with the Beretta. That fits in there nicely. I do have a magazine. For that. There we go. This here is a 17 round magazine. And that fits in there. Um, but I could see two magazines going in there. Do I have the other one here? I don't see I don't see my other magazine but okay let's put it in the weapon and it still fits <clears throat> still fits which means you could get 
the PX4 Storm with the 17 round mag and a box, small box of ammo and a, another 17 round mag into the NV200. Look at that. How nice is that? So let's take our magazine out, make sure we're clear. Uh, something I didn't try with the NV100 that we can do now uh, with both is my revolvers. We didn't try that. So this is my Ruger LCR. It's a 357. We're clear. Now, there's no magazines, obviously. Um, I do have loaders, which obviously is plenty of room for several things here. Um, I have a box of 357. Obviously, that's a thicker box, and I don't think that's going to fly. Let's let's try it. Now, that's just way too thick. That is not. Yeah, that's not closing. Yeah, that's a. A box of 357 ammo is not going into this case, so uh, so maybe you can put loaders in there. There's a couple of loaders. Well, obviously, if one fits, two will fit. There's plenty of room, so let's see if I lay that in there. And a couple of flags closes up. Nothing rattles around in there. So I've got the Ruger LCR 357 Magnum in the NV200. Obviously, two loaders with ammo in them fit. There's a couple of flags, obviously, don't take up any space. Um, there's room for Whatever else you want to put in there, not whatever else, but a few small things, I guess. And uh, so that looks good. My other revolver is a little. Is it smaller? About the same size. It is a little smaller. This is a 38 Special Five shooter. Um, Undercover 38 Special Charter Arms unloaded. Obviously, it's smaller. It's smaller, so it's going to fit. So, no questions there. Let's try it in the NV100. Since we forgot to try that. <clears throat> Will it fit? Drum roll, please. Ruger LCR 357 Magnum goes in there. A loader. Let's put the other one in too. Pretend there's bullets in it. And it closes. Yes, sir. Yep. Closes nicely. Nothing's rattling in there. There you go. All right, so let's put the NV100 and 200 down. Let's get that 300 open. Now the 300 has a feature that the other two do not. It has a combination lock three digit and no key so there's no keys for this one this is a three digit combo lock um, tether very important for me anyway meets my requirements same thick padding. Let's compare the size. Here's the NV200, NV300, and they are identical. They are.
are identical. Okay. Thickness. So they're identical boxes. The only exception is 300 has a combo lock on it. Now let's take a look here. Take this padding out. This uh, latch appears to be a little different looking. I don't think it's any less secure. The combo lock. Um, this back of it part, the part is in the back here is made of plastic. Up front it's all metal. So uh, it doesn't look like you can pry this thing out of here. You, I mean, here's a little clip. So that clip and the lock comes right out. How about that? I wasn't expecting that. So this little knob turning the latch. It's all metal except for this backing here which I don't think is a problem. Do that. So just put that back in there and the clip goes like so. It's in there tight but I tell you what though there is a latch that's metal metal so I, to pry this out would be pretty tough. It can, I, I imagine it could be done from this side if you get up under there with enough force. The mechanism itself, I think it kind of invites uh, a little prying. But if you have to have the combo instead of a key, because you can lose a key, right? Um, and But you can also forget a combination. Whatever you prefer. But if you prefer the three digit combo uh, this will fit as you said as you saw it'll fit whatever fits in the 200 um, so uh, so there you have it <clears throat> tethers come with each box and what else can I tell you about it let's see how many micro pistols I can fit in the 200. Caltech. Beretta Pico. This is the Taurus TCP 738. Empty mag. Clear. So, and without magazines in, we could try it with magazines, but without magazines in, three, three micro pistols fit nicely. Let's try it with magazines in. There's a magazine for the Taurus. Pico. Caltech. All right. Well, the Caltech with the pinky extension is not going in. I do not have the Caltech magazine here for that does not have the flush the flush Caltech magazine. I do not have here, uh, but th I that would fit. So you could get all three of them in there with loaded magazines. There's, there's essentially no room for any magazines otherwise for, if you put three in there. Now let's do something more reasonable. Let's pop the magazine out of that. Clear. Let's say what I'm more likely to do since I'm not carrying the Beretta yet until I get the reliability issue solved. I'm more likely to carry these two weapons. This is my wife's. This is mine. So. Uh, let's load that up. It's 
So there's room for both of our pistols in, in the NV200. And uh, here's a full standard box of 50 380 Auto American Eagle 95 grain. That is not going to close because of the latch. So let's see. I'm really reluctant to do this, but let's, uh, let's turn that around. Hmm. I don't want that latch touching my gun. <clears throat> No, I'm not a packaging engineer, obviously. Alright, I don't see a way to do this. A small box of ammo, I don't think there's any issue there. Okay, NV200, and certainly 300. You can get a small box of ammo in there. Civil defense box, mm, no. That's 380 box, but no, that ain't going. So, uh, my recommendation is if you're putting more than one pistol in there, especially, um, is uh, have your backup magazines in there instead of instead of a box of ammo. So. They also have holes in the back. You can see that two holes. You could mount this on the floor. Those two models have it. And the 100. So there you have it. All three models. Key entry, combo entry, nice padding. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. If you like what we're doing here, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.